that's my last revive. This is really stupid. Uh, now, I'm wondering what happens, like, when you die, when one of your characters dies without a revive scroll. Or a re revive herb. I'm pretty sure it's not too nice whatever happens. I think this is just one of those things where uh, Sensei is actually a lot stronger. Uh, what did I even choose? Interesting. I wonder if this is one of those things where, like, Sensei is just, like, the top swordsman in ever, and he's just, like, going along with all this stuff when he doesn't actually need to. Just trying to trick all the bad guys. That, that's something that kind of happens uh, a lot in animes, I think. They just kind of play possum and uh, make it look like they're a lot more pathetic than what they are. I'm a monster. My rat's dying. Or squirrel. Chipmunk. I, what is that? It doesn't seem like a real animal. This should be a suka. Oh yeah, I can tell, because I don't know what that Japanese writing means. Yep, Basuka. Now, I was going to go back to that portal here, but I think I have to just take control of Asuka for a while. But then I think we find Chiron again in a dungeon, and then after we do, I think all we have to do is complete the dungeon with him back in the party, and then we get in control of Chiron and Asuka. Sensei escaped. I'm still like 99% positive though that he ends up with their band for just a little while until he decides to, to stop acting like an idiot and helps out Shiren. I wonder if Copa is like a play on the word Kappa. Which is just like, uh, I know it's used a lot in uh, in like Twitch streams and everything, but like a Kappa is supposed to be like a, a mythological, uh, I guess, Japanese or Chinese creature or whatever. Supposed to be all green with with like a duck bill. And most likely it's like a mythological creature, not real. So 
So we've made it pretty far already, and I'm so glad that I'm using this chair instead of using my bed to stream on. This is much more comfortable. Even though I'm moving around a little bit, it's like not as bad as like having to move around like every five seconds, just like uh, 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 uh. still just not getting there. All right. Yep, you're pathetic, and we still can't help you out. I'm gonna keep checking this shop. Uh, if nothing else, I should be able to sell some of my items. Balls just yet, just because I'm not getting enough money to actually do that. Okay. Okay, looks like she gets the same equipment as what Shiren had. getting used to these controls. So that's why I'm still messing up just a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of this stuff I don't want to throw in, but I want to save... I want to keep for later. Um, sell my weeds. Man, I can't believe that though. They they really They really screwed me I, I, early on. I lost all my revival herbs, which will kinda stink, but whatever. And pretty much all those situations weren't, like, unavoidable. They could have been avoided. Catfish is the name of that merry little band that came up and picked on me. has the AI of like the goblin enemies in Chocobo's dungeon were well only those were a little bit different like they'd hit you and you'd attack them and, and they'd be right up into your face up until you got them into about critical then they'd back up for like a few steps and then they'd come back and let you wail on them while they're trying to wail on you like I can move. No. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like she's in trouble already, so we'll use a lightning scroll. Uh, did I remember? Yep. I remember the escape scroll. Which is gonna come in handy because... Uh, yeah, we're not quite prepared just yet. Not for this area. Nice. Um, we'll knock you back. And we'll knock you back. Okay, he warped. Cover some HP over by the exit here. What? remember this effect. Those guys can go straight into the water and they start recovering HP every turn. Please turn around without moving. There we go. Like I said, this controller is just so un it's being very unresponsive when I need it to be. I need it to respond and it just will do nothing for me. choice. Nothing I could do. I had no more lightning scrolls. I was considering that as an option if I had one more lightning scroll, but they kind of quit all my stuff. Back to town real quick. 
pick up another escape scroll. Let's see if I can find some herbs too. Those are the only two things that I'm interested in grabbing from town right now. Like I said, I was going to die a lot, and I did die a lot already, but I'm going to take the escape way out right now. Reload now. Okay. He does not reload just by going out, going back in. Now the question is, do I just have to leave town and go back in, or do I have to go into a dungeon and back out in order for him to reload his stuff? Because that's going to be some important knowledge for later. And as I progress through the story, I think his wares will become much stronger. Okay. So it looks like I do have to go through a dungeon. I can backtrack. I can go to, to the last dungeon. Uh, that's not very helpful. I do remember this being the, the first time in the game where... I really had trouble though. I can escape every time. I'm not gonna lose my gold or my equipment if I ha happen to die, I don't think. I may lose my gold, but I won't lose my equipment. Obviously, if I don't die, I'm not going to lose anything. Should be stronger than the wooden arrows. Really gonna have to use the crap out of them just to uh, get through this. Hercules herb. Okay, increases attack for a brief amount of time. That'll be useful later, but like right now it's just like everyone's just destroying me so hard, so like it wouldn't really help. Nature neutralized the staff. Ah, uh, let's see. Interesting. What's this do? Make them immobilized. That's just garbage. Having, having a random mechanic like that in a game like this. I'm going to start calling a lot of this garbage. Yeah, 
Yeah, just like in Tornado, sometimes the pickpockets don't like to take advantage of the fact that they have to turn. In Tornado, it'll say that they're pondering. Like, I really forgot just how brutal this king gets. Like, it's early on, too. Oh crap, uh, yeah, that's fine. Shoot. I wanted to get, meant to go on my items and then I just straight up attack them. <laughs> this is how you can tell it's late at night. Wooden arrow. I'll need that. Oh, come on. Still doing that. that other idiot didn't follow me, otherwise it had to go all the way around. I like the fish better. They're a little bit nicer. Anytime I they get in critical, I don't know if they'll be looking for water. Um, I need to see the grid. Okay. I need to make sure I can make it to the stairs. Or, um, this guy won't attack. I'm getting my butt kicked. Now, as rough as this is now, imagine doing this only you lose your items for the next time you go into the dungeon. Losing all your items, all your equipment, and all your money. And that's what normal mode is. So, yeah, um, that was basically the only reason why I quit normal mode, because it became this big long grind session just to be able to keep up with everything. Ooh, bronze plus three. Thank you. 
It has them. Whoa, look at that damage. Nice. I did have some projectiles equipped, but uh, used them all. Nice. This is going to be so much easier getting through this now. Yeah, the gunks are doing like half damage. I just got to hope nothing, nothing I've got rust. Man, I'm good. Like, so good now. Um, what is that? That's like one of my arrows or something. Just like floating in the water where you can't exactly see it. can't move. Two-hand weapon, so I'd have to unequip my shield, which I'm not... Oh, it knocks the enemies back one space. I wasn't comfortable doing that. Let's, let's equip it for right now. It's just as strong as the other sword because it's plus two. This can be kind of dangerous uh, depending on where the enemies are, but... Yeah. That's a thing, isn't it? But overall, this will be better. Ugh. There's gotta be a guy right behind him. Because he did not get knocked back. Okay. So now that I got better weapons, I didn't want to have to do this dungeon one more time. But it looks like I'm gonna have to buy a big rice ball and an escape scroll. I guarantee you though, I probably did that single dungeon about six or seven times. Like, I don't think I've made it much further than this <laughs> in the game, honestly. Like, I remember that being a huge stopping point for me. I probably did it 10 to 15 times that dungeon. It, it was ridiculous how much I was getting my butt kicked when I played this before. I even had to backtrack through some other dungeons. use an escape scroll, but apparently you don't have those. Okay, that last guy did not get knocked back, so we're gonna re-equip the bronze sword. We'll save the giant one for later, and uh, the bronze ward can be equipped. What? Okay, so I get a bonus. I'm not sure what I get a bonus then.
think also if I were to reset the game, uh, that shop would reload. I'm definitely going to try and uh, save here. I don't want to lose any of my items. So we'll save the game. Uh, we're not going to do Portal Dungeon yet. I'm going to do that with Shiren. And let's see how this works out. That should be a poison arrow trap. check the next room over. I don't want to grind a whole lot or anything. Let's just uh, get to the end of this and get out of here. Oh, I think what happened was initially when I went through the dungeon, uh, I think she had good equipment. And then I got killed. <laughs> and it only takes one time. And I would have gotten killed by, like, upgraded enemies, which I don't think we've seen in any dungeons yet. I don't think they've upgraded any of the enemies as we were going. But I think I got killed by upgraded enemies, and then I had to go back to the beginning, and then she just couldn't kill anything. Like, you saw how much trouble I was having before. Lightning scroll. That'll be helpful. This map's almost over. Let's check the end. Okay. Enemies are more aggressive. I don't see anything that I want to drop for that item. So, to me that just says, quit worrying about it and go to the next floor. Okay, about chain stabs. scroll I do care about. Let's go ahead and use a light scroll for right now. Um, and then I'll use the identify scroll on the knockback staff because I was using those quite a bit earlier. that frog had a nasty effect too. Okay. Monster House. Perfect time to show off the lightning scrolls again. It's everybody in the room. And that'll kill him. I'd be surprised if anyone survived. Wow, I still counting up all those enemies that died. Oh. Uh, let's see. There's got to be something I don't want. Uh, we'll throw this chain staff. It's useful sometimes, but not always. Uh, 
Got a lot of attack. Oh no, I want the bronze sword because that's gonna have it's gonna have a resonation. Um, wow, and I just sent a quiz it. things she finds on the ground. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I could be swinging my sword to reveal these traps. I just don't feel like they're that big of a deal right now. I'll make use of them later, but uh, for right now, we're just going to get rid of them. Go ahead and eat this, because that'll reveal the traps. Oh! Shiren! Dungeon in now? I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> of course. I'm trying to save all my items and then they just throw them, get rid of them. I was getting him back, so I didn't prepare any items for him. He's got no defensive equipment. Nice shot. Exit as well. Apparently, she does. Just gonna switch to Asuka for right now. 
She's gonna be more reliable because she's got the shield, and I'm not gonna equip it from her. Analyze my jar. I don't want to talk about it. That's it. That's all the more commentary you're getting from me. It's like, it's too late at night. It's nothing. I got nothing left. At least he wasn't stupid and stepped on it again. What did I pick up? Just like a light scroll? Okay, we'll use it. Ooh. A shop. That's good, because I think I've got some money. Shield was not the first one that I had. Okay, that's the one I've already got. Um, we'll grab another ration shield. Okay, he tossed a piggy rock, a piggy stone at me. Nice. Um, I guess I'll sell it to you. What is piggy stone? Yes. Three Giton. Now, what you do not want to do is pick up the items and es and escape that floor without paying for them. Because the shopkeeper will either come after you or summon somebody after you, and they will murder you hard. Aw, oh, it's an adorable jar. He's back to town with me so I can find out what's what. Basically I want to get like a max amount of holding jars again. Uh, something happened to the one that I had. I think an enemy made me drop it or something. I don't know. Yeah, chat's been dead for a while. Game face left me. I wasn't doing good enough on the commentary. All is lost. Okay, six more stones. I gotta adjust my headset again. Probably need to wash it again. Another antique jar. Um, 
I'll eat a rice ball. How's the siren holding up? You still hold up okay too. So far, this has been a real good place to recover. Our enemies have not been kicking my butt. They have not been making my equipment get uh, frosted, so yeah. Still very much do want to go back into that dungeon. I, I'll find a plate and scroll later, though, I'm sure of it. Basically, this counts as one turn. So you see, Shyron didn't move at all, but she moved all the way across that ice. I'll put this leaves Shyron behind. That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> he might get his butt kicked. After all, he's only got one crappy shield. I bet that mechanic would be useful for like a speed run of this game. I'm not saying that I'm gonna speed run this yet. Could happen though. Okay, Shyly can move again, but he doesn't want to. Trust them to heal himself, so I'll do it for him. Oh, that was a decent amount. That was like 50 points of damage that he healed up. Alright, I'm just going for the exit now. Uh, yeah. And more aggressive. Katata fish. <laughs> Any of you who have uh, <laughs> seen South Park know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he was in the Lemming Weeks episode. I don't remember how the song goes. I just remember how the tune sounded. <laughs> <laughs> Something about getting out of the game and butter. You will soon be dead. Yeah, I'm censoring it for the channel. Like I, I already said like one swear so far. I, I prefer to keep it at. PG, PG-13 ratings at, at most. Should be 
be okay here. I just need to be very careful. Okay, I'm not gonna mind. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually a bit scary because I think if I lost either of my guys, that battle would have ended and I would have lost. the greatest uh, video game to watch a let's play of. <laughs> well, not the greatest, but it, it is pretty funny. Uh, watching the South Park Stick, Stick of Truth one, it, it was probably several years now that that was released on as like an online game. RPG elements, and it was just like you were playing a, a game of of South Park. Like, it's like you were playing South Park, the show, on your computer, only as an RPG. Yep, yeah, I'm not a day over 800. My only problem with that game, the reason why I will probably never play it, is because it had a lot of quick time actions, and I am very much not a fan of quick time actions. Um, so I'm glad that people decided that they were going to make less plays of it, like uh, PewDiePie and uh, Jack Tepticai both made less plays of it. They were both very good. Uh, they also did ones uh, The Walking Dead, which, like, uh, The Walking Dead, uh, another great game, just uh, the whole quick, quick time thing. Uh, 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 quick time thing annoys me. I still don't have escape scrolls. Give me escape scrolls. I didn't realize that you were going to start making them rare. Second one. Can I have some garbage here? Um, you know what? I, I can hold on to these. I don't think I'll ever use them. <laughs> All the pain shares. Melding jar. Awesome. So the hiding jars. some of those sitting around like there's there's no reason like when you can fit three items in one slot there's no reason to have one item in that slot when you can have three items in that slot okay so melding has the same effect that I was talking about with the blacksmith where we can combine shields and weapons and they get extra seals uh, right now I'm checking to see if that blacksmith is actually open yet. I 
think he'll open up, like, as the story progresses. So right now, I'm thinking let's do a little bit of quick exploration in town, see if I can figure out something else. I really don't think it takes too much longer to unlock that blacksmith. Okay, you're not helpful. She say. Okay, apparently she's giving me reports on my journey, I guess. Which I don't care about. That guy gave me his tarot scroll, so I'm thinking I need to show that to somebody. I may be somewhat overthinking it and not actually be able to do anything with it yet. I think like the whole thing <laughs> with why they're, yeah, 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 acting stupid like that is because they want to make it more realistic, like, in the older RPGs, like if you've ever played like Final Fantasy 4, which was main Final Fantasy 2 for the Super Nintendo, uh, all your characters would say share the same slot to walk with, and this is just trying to show you that, hey, you can't have two party members share the same space. They've gotten a little bit better about that over the years, but that was the old mechanic. Back in my day. Back in my day, they took their jobs. I'm still not sure what kind of bonus content this game is going to have for me. Um, I'm guessing most of it's going to be unlocked when the story moves over, though. I'm hoping that's how it is. It, it was like that with Tornado. Like, it's only eight dungeons for the storyline in, in Tornado, but there was so much extra content, and it took so long to get through it that it was so worth playing. I, I just love that game so much. It's my favorite game of all time, that's why I spent 15 plus years and so much time on it. It's I love all the mechanics. Like, I like how challenging it is that you go back to level 1 every time you re-enter in a dungeon. Okay, so nobody can do anything for the blacksmith yet. 
is what I'm gathering from this. I've talked to everybody. Haven't paid a lick of attention to anything they're saying, but uh, I think there's still a few people out here. I don't think anyone's going to help. does always pay off eventually to go look around. Just see what everyone has to say. I don't think they're giving me any quests. That's why I'm just going around talking to them once real quick. Okay. Well, that was a complete waste of time. Uh, so all we know right now, the only thing we got out of that was there's Jesus that go walk around at, at night, and actually, I totally forgot, I got the melting jar, so let's withdraw some stuff. A strength and shield. Okay. Um, so I have two escape scrolls now. Actually, I I want to get one more if he has it. And that's because I plan on using one pretty much right away. So we're going to go into a dungeon. We will meld our stuff together, our shields. Um, let's see which one has the most defense right now. Um, strength 3, Spike Ward, Strength 4, it's got Rust Proof, Counter, I will get, um, Reduce loss of fullness. And prevents leaving. I just have to double check because the first one that you throw into the pot is going to be the base. So we'd want the spiked ward to be the base. That way we get the benefit of all four of those seals. So it's important that you slow down a little bit and make sure you know how that works. This should be fine. This is several dungeons beforehand. This is awkward. Um, I'm gonna have to do something bad here, just because I don't know how my... Uh, let's toss this. Okay. Um, because it looks like if I had a thrown my molding jar upwards there, it would have just uh, got lost and out of bounds. So I wanted to make sure that, that that wouldn't happen to me. I wanted to actually shatter.
4 plus 2, and I've got all these cool things on it. And that was the point of all of that. Yes, I do want to save my journal. That was actually kind of what I was gearing up to do. So let's try the portal. Start at level 1, ally solo, items yes, econ yes. Oops. But we got a safety save, so uh, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I remember those dead soldiers can show up in here, but I don't think that's going to happen. Really hoping I get a couple plating scrolls, because I would like to make sure that... Uh, man, I'm forgetting her name already. Uh, Suka or whatever, I want to make sure that uh, she's got her equipment plated. I guess that is, it's, uh, a bit tired. Taking things a little lash and lazy here. Uh, I've been kicking my own butt to try and get into shape and, uh, work out at least five days a week and cut back on caffeine and, and the whole whole spiel there, uh, whole deal. I'm just throwing in words that don't even need to be in there. Words that make no sense in the sentence. But it sounded good. Um, okay. I wonder if you're supposed to actually attack those. What is that? Is that an enemy that moves or what? I've forgotten. I don't remember how those work. I think I can do something about them though. Yeah, this whole the whole thing came about. I was playing a game on my phone and it was all in Japanese and I was thinking you know what I'd probably like to do I'd probably like to do a let's play of this game for my channel so let's go ahead and do that let's do this and let's throw it up on YouTube I know it's not going to be the best let's play I don't have a whole lot to be talked about right just yet but uh, it'll be nice as a starter. I plan on submitting uh, probably a couple games to a GDQ, so I'll have something to talk about. Uh, right now, as this is recording, Summer Games Done Quick is going on. It just started yesterday. Uh, And I pretty much have been doing this lately. I'm not as excited for the games done quick as I used to be. Uh, when I first found out about it, it was fall of 2014, and I sat and I just binged so many of those videos when I first found out about it, and it was so fun, so awesome, and and it's. And it's still awesome. Um, there's less of the people being 
uh, real close and heckling each other. Uh, it's more concentrated on the friends nowadays. But, uh, it's still good. But yeah, I'm, I've been working on a speedrun of uh, Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. I'm not good at it yet. So that Bless Scroll should get rid of... Uh, Stars. Let's scroll should get rid of any curses on our equipment, so. Let me make sure I'm correct in that. Yep. We haven't gotten cursed yet, but that'll be coming. Let's see, soil bless. I know I'm not looking at all this stuff, I'm sorry. Uh I'm looking at it now, though. Ooh. Okay, that's not what I thought that did at all. I think I passed one of those up. So it increases the strength of my shield. That's nice. I was thinking that was like the bread scroll in Tornado, where if you use it, uh, if you have like, there were traps that could make your food moldy, and if you used a bread scroll on it, you would... Ooh, he's sleeping. You would make sure that, uh, it, w it would revert back to a big bread, is what it would do. So it's very helpful. Um, where did you go? Oh, and one really cool thing for, like, anyone who knows anything about speedruns, uh... So, as, as I'm speaking right now, it's technically, it's, like, late at night, well, well, actually it's morning now, it's, it's 7 in the morning. On Monday. So, like, I started, I started the day around, uh, late Sunday. But, uh, where I'm at, it, it's 7 in the morning. And, uh, so it's Monday now, but on Friday, um, on the Colbert Report, they had Mitch Flower Powers, and, uh, for anyone who knows about speedrunning and just doesn't happen to know who that is, that's the world record holder for Mario 3. So he was on the Colbert Report playing Mario 3, he was doing his any percent credit warp where he uh, sets up a whole bunch of stuff on level 7 1 and then he just warps to the credits and they had like a whole race of it going on. It wasn't, he wasn't racing against other speedrunners but he was racing against other stupid things that Colbert had set up. But it was just, like, one of the most awesome things to see. Because, like, I feel like the community is so overlooked and has been for a while. Uh, just the fact that I didn't know anything about it for the longest time. Uh, that, that made me mad. Uh, Like, I knew that speedruns existed, it's just, the first speedrun I ever saw was probably the first speedrun that anyone ever saw. Uh, uh, anyone who knows about speedruns, for the most part, and it was the task of Super Mario Bros. 3, where you see it and then it just makes you sick to your stomach if you play video games, 
because it's something that you'd just never be able to live up to because it was so perfectly executed. You're like, man, I, I'm good at video games, but I'm just not this good. I don't think I'll ever be this good. Well, there's a reason for that. It's because it's not a person playing. It's a computer, a pre-written computer program where they go frame by frame. Uh, as far as like NES and Super NES, you get 60 frames per second. Um, let me see. We'll hold on to the blessing for later. So, so they're going through the pro through the game frame by frame, making the computer enter in the correct input for every single movement. So the reason why it looked so perfect was because technically, for what we knew back then, it completely was perfect. There was not a second lost, not an input lost, just nothing. It, it was all perfect. But now that I, I the community's grown and I've known more about it, it doesn't make me mad anymore. Uh, not as much anyway. But yeah, it, it's so awesome to see stuff like that. To see that we're actually getting more into mainstream and more people can actually find out about how awesome we are. That way, the next time. Some stupid jock or some stu stupid popular person comes up to you and starts making fun of you for playing video games. Just be like, dude, my hobby brings in millions of dollars for charity every year. And what does your hobby do? Yeah, I thought so. Nothing. And you know what, if you're anything like me, and you want to take that attitude, just go right ahead. Don't, don't feel bad in the least. If you want to feel good about the things that you do with your life, as, as long as you're doing stuff that isn't really hurting anyone else, in no way possible, you're not doing anything illegal or anything like that, uh, yeah, you sh you should feel good about yourself. For the longest time, I, I had to uh, feel like I needed to be embarrassed for playing video games, which is not the right answer. That's not the way anyone should feel. Uh, let's see. I'm running out of space for this. Uh, we'll hold a sleeper. Like, just look at all this. I've, I've got all these options for storing stuff away. Let's see. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, normally you have 30 slots for holding stuff. Right now, I've got about 45. Just a rough guesstimate without really looking too hard at how many pots I actually have. Okay, so the portal's complete. And we'll have to work on that again later. Check out the tea house. I'm wondering what's in here now. What can you give me? I really like a plating scroll. Okay, I'm gonna start checking hers. I think that's a her. Yeah, it looks like an old lady. It's hard to tell, because 
whether it's an old lady or an old man. He or she is really covered up. I think it's an old lady, though. If not, everyone can just laugh at me. Whatever. So we're going to check his stuff out. And then we'll head forward, I think. really want those plating scrolls, though. <laughs> it's like bugging me that I don't have them. I knew I was going to need two more for her. I've got enough other stuff, so I don't have to worry about buying other stuff. this being a rough area. I didn't save right before, but I saved like after that last dungeon. Okay. her up like everybody else. Another bronze sword. Like, that is bothering me that I got a whole bunch of extra weapons that I've got. I, I want to put them in storage. Now I'm wondering if this, it'll give me a, another chance to save, whatever. But it'll, it'll also reload these other shops. tea house out. So she's holding on to it. This is connected to that other storage. Uh, let's see. I don't want to keep throwing stuff in pots. That's... I don't need that pickaxe for probably quite a while now. Uh, we'll hold on to the giant Harrison. Only because I think I might actually use it later. She's equipping the bronze sword and the bronze ward. Uh, wood shield. I don't need to hold on to the wood shield. That one could be sold. just helpful this way because you don't... Why is she unequipped? Alright, whatever. 
If you keep trying to throw all your stuff... Oh, I know why, because I went through the portal. For some reason, they decided to do that because of the... I went into the portal. Um, shoot. Run back to town. And there won't be too much more time wasted here. Definitely some stuff I can cut out here. I don't know. I don't like to edit my... Uh, I don't think I'm going to edit any of this stuff out, really. I don't like having edited videos. I, I want to... Personally, when I'm watching a wet, Let's Play, I want to see all the stuff that they do. Well, I get another holding jar, but we got plenty. And I would like to save my monies. Uh, that's my personal take on Let's Play. I want to see everything. Especially the battles. Uh, that would annoy the crap out of me. I mean, one of the best, better Let's Player, H.C. Bailey, uh, he he shows you all the first battles that he gets into with enemies, and then he cuts out the rest of them for the entire Let's Play, and that really annoys me. If I, if I want to watch a Let's Play of an RPG, I want to see all the battles. Like, that's the one thing you should never cut out. Another revival herb. That's <laughs> you don't know how good that makes me feel right now. I'm so glad that I have that. It's not a plating scroll, so I don't care about it. Um. Oh, we can't use scrolls. Uh. Yeah, that's just a weird, quirky thing about these. When, when you're standing on any of these tiles, uh, you can see it has the circle and the line through it, and that looks like a scroll. Uh, I can't see what this is. I can't tell at all, but uh, it'll share the color... Like, that's blue, so I'll just find out which which one of those is blue, and then I'll see what blue means. Probably means you can't use arrows, or you can't use, I don't know, something. She's got more strength anyway. She just doesn't have it. Uh, none of her equipment's plated. And Shiren's kind of getting his butt kicked. I don't know if I exactly said it before, but um, I kind of hinted at it. 
um, the, the traps and Tornado would make the food moldy, but if I had the, the food... Nice. Nice hit. I'm proud of you. Probably should just sit there for a second and attack that other guy. Oh man, not, none of this is helping. But yeah, if you had bread in a jar, it wouldn't get moldy whenever you trip on the mud traps. Okay. Stupefied, which I don't like. I don't know what it does. I'll be... Okay, I guess it lowers his level for a while. Yeah. Sorry if I kind of get like that sometimes. Sometimes I just get... Um, just start drawing blinks because I'm tired and whatever. So if anyone's familiar with, uh, again, if, what is this? Okay, we can't use one on blue. Anyone's familiar with Retro Gaming Live TV? probably heard of Yogi the Monk. He plays the Super Nintendo uh, like fan made game of this. So it's called Shiren the Wanderer but, or I think it's just called Shiren actually and uh, being fan made it it has its own unique uh, Characteristics and everything. Um, I don't trust this floor right now. Enemies are supposed to be more aggressive. I'm I'm just assuming that actually just heals their wounds, but just in case they are getting more aggressive, I want the person with the strongest equipment up front. Again, that's gonna like reveal traps. It should reveal hidden monsters as well. I don't care about the recovery staffs. I haven't found anything that looks like I can bounce my staffs off of yet. I can't even tell you if I was like halfway through because I I think I beat this dungeon and maybe like two more dungeons at the most and then I just like gave up on the game because I kept losing all my equipment. I was like no this sucks. And I remember this being a particularly hard dungeon too. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It, it was. The way I was set up when I kept dying it just was bad. I need room for items and yeah, 
That's it, I just need room for items. Got right into my trap. gonna run into like a spring-headed monster I think and I can't remember what his effect was I just remember him being awful and hating him so yeah you see where you get my butt kicked by a spring-headed monster we'll find out really quickly what his abilities are I do remember getting the Sensei back at some point. And when we get back to the fire cavern, by getting back but I mean getting to it for the first time. Uh, that's back to where I was. I just did not have enough strength to get through the dungeon and I was just sick of grinding at that point. It, it was too much. Okay. You gonna come with me? Huh? Huh? You okay? You okay now? Alright. You're hungry. You want something to eat? You okay there, big guy? You want the soda? I got all this from Family Guy if you're wondering. Old school Family Guy. Hey there, big guy. You okay? You want a soda? Oh! Well, that's completely retarded. I can't believe I didn't think about that until just now. Until I actually saw one of my guys do it. He, <laughs> he saw that my character was hurting and used the recovery staff on, on her. Brilliant. <laughs> here, here I'm thinking in my head, how am I going to bounce this off or something? So yeah, those are totally useful now. Okay, so now I look like an enemy. That's cool. Oh, I can revert. Nice. I could actually aim before I fight. That's something you don't see often in these games, is an enemy that can actually change the terrain around you by shooting you. Ah, uh, poison herb. Oh, I haven't shown anybody how to use herbs yet. Let me show you. Okay, poison herb. Toss. Okay, now Speed was reduced. Well, let me uh, look at this. 
Uh, log history. Okay, Garrus is the enemy in front of me. When I threw the poison herb at him, I reduced his attack and his speed. I haven't been taking advantage. I take advantage of those all the time, Morneko. I just haven't been doing that yet. Okay, Siren can take care of you. Take the lead for just a minute here. While she's still recovering. Okay, she's dizzy from hunger. I guess that's good. We'll take out this guy and go to the next floor. And this guy, since he wants to die so bad. Shiren up front, those guys can't steal from me. Because he's got the Walrus Shield, and that was a special shield that I added with the Walrus Shield. Likely, like in Chocobo's dungeon, though, later on when we find shields with a stronger base than what we've got on Shiren, Shiren, Shiren has a base of four defense with his item, um, and I just paid attention to it earlier. I don't think I knew last time I played. That they have they have the max on it, and I'll show it. Um, yeah, it's got a strength four and a max twenty, so I can only give it plus twenty. Well, I think there's enemies that take away your ability to use your sword for a while, and that's the purpose of those traps. Getting hungry again. Uh, Asuka. Um, I'm just going to wait for her to run completely out. Since I've only got big rice balls left, that way she can just max out. Go from nut zero to max. That way I don't waste any of it. Those chain staffs are going to be uh, 
better than what I thought they were going to be. I did not want to waste that. I didn't want to waste... The thing was, I didn't want to waste another recovery staff, so I was just going to stay as being Shiren. That didn't work out. Take advantage of the distance right now. Well, I still can. Oh, question mark fell in the darkness. Oh crap. Did she move up? Oh god, I think she's like in front of him. So that's what happens when one of your guys gets knocked out. Let's see, let's buy some healing items then. I didn't pick up anything really good, so it's not that big of a loss. It's time loss at best, and since it's not speed run, I don't care about it. Uh, the time loss, that is. The game I care about. I like this game. Um... Save one of these knockback staffs in here. What am I doing? Just get the freaking recovery staffs.
Yeah. Our rat animal. We'll just call it a rat animal. Was acting weird again. It's drunk. If my guys are drunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I came in here for some serious video game business here. Now that I know what they freaking do. I'm sure last time I played this, that was something that just like, it didn't click in my head. Oh, hey, this item's pretty darn good. I think I also want the herbs because I think the herbs will recover a bit more HP. I think the herbs were like 50 and the recovery staffs were less than 50, like 30-ish. Okay, um. that's pretty dangerous. That's like the enemies in Tornado if if you were to knock that backwards and it hit another enemy, I would lose that item. It would deal damage to the enemy, but I would just lose it after that. I will switch over to her again, she's stronger. Now, if I die one more time in here, I am going to have to go back, and I'll probably be looking for those platings. I think that entire dungeon was what was getting me a lot of really good stuff. I would have gotten my, in the water dungeon would have been where I got my melting shards, I think. Nice throw. Red is apparently stronger than blue. That might have been why I wasn't taking those recovery staffs with me, because the player two likes to abuse, it, use it and abuse them. Um, 
I think because of how tired I'm getting, uh, and I'm not bored with the ga this game at all. Uh, it's something that I could play for hours and hours. Um, I'm tired. I could probably just go for grabbing something to eat. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up this dungeon. I'm gonna save. Um, I don't think I'm even gonna edit it too much at all. I'm just gonna make sure everything's uh, going all right in the video, and then we'll upload this to YouTube. This will be the start of the first Let's Play that I have to YouTube. Again, I don't think really the greatest. I I could have more topics to go along with this, uh, and be on the lookout for my first first vlog, and that'll explain uh, some of the things that are going on in my life. Uh, kind of kind of give you a, the idea of why why I'm not too prepared with topics ahead of time. Hopefully it would give you some kind of a sense of why things are like what they are. Air blessed pool. Uh, that sounds awesome. Where is it? Weapon increased by one. Uh, she's the one who's kicking butt right now. Um, Shire is the hero. Now we're at the Golden Blade. That's it. That's, that's my entire reasoning for choosing Shiren over her, is Shiren's the hero. You know, I don't think I finished what I was saying with the GDQs earlier. So, uh, Zelda 2 will definitely be submitted, I think. I should be ready by then. Uh, and also Lagoon, I think. I think I will brush up on my skills in Lagoon. Because uh, right now, <laughs> I regressed on that game so much that it was taking me like three hours to be Elda, Ella now. Uh, but I did have a 142. One, I, I think about 140, 141 or 142. I think it was 141, 42 actually was my time on the game. And I'll probably contact TJ, see if he'd be willing to race me in that for AGDQ of 2017. It's really bad if you leveled up off of that. Okay, he's low on HP. He's gonna heal, that's good. I would have rather used a recover staff on him, I think.
actually <laughs> jump in place. Honestly, that looks like a head with a hat. It doesn't it? Like, if you you know what I'm talking about? If you've ever seen like Big Trouble in Little China, that that looks like the headdress that they were wearing with those white things down on the side, and then then they got like a face mask right here with uh, it looks kind of like a doctor's face mask, but uh, a little bit different. And then they have the big round hat on top. guys to be able to gang up on your guys. There we go. That's weird that the mechanics with two people in this game just makes everything so much different, so much weirder. Ooh, another golden blade. You know I'm all about the golden. It just reminds me of, uh, it, if, <laughs> if anyone has ever seen, uh, the Boondocks, <laughs> their granddad was so happy about having, he was so happy that he could have, like, golden things, like, he's like, if I could, I'd have golden showers every day or something like that. <laughs> completely just misunderstanding <laughs> what gold what a golden shower actually is I can have gold and I could be having a shower two of my favorite things nice what did he do? like let her die okay so instead of going straight to attack him you're gonna go pick up the keyton beautiful Last guy, uh, last time I got up to that boss, he kind of kicked my butt, so that's why I'm pretty much insistent on clearing out every one of these levels and leveling up a little by myself. Uh, he resisted sleep that first time. I don't know if he's immune, but he resisted it, so 
we'll go off the premise that maybe he can be hit by it. If I've got s some other kind of sp status effect that I might be able to use on him, I'll try that. Really, all those ice owls that I wasted, I would like to have them. Only real big problem with that is I don't remember, like, what dungeon. Okay. I recovered you, but you're not going to recover me. Guess I wanted to die in one hit, but... Still kind of douchey. Just saw my opportunity. Might as well make sure I don't lose any of my gold. And if anyone's watched through this this far, wondering about uh, what this shirt is, it's CRL, Columbus Retro League, so if you're ever around Columbus, Ohio, uh, I think it's about 30 bucks for a season. I think it might be 20 if you actually decide you're gonna buy the t-shirt though. Um, I, you probably have to check on it, but Chris Chris Umberstock is the one that you want to go for to for that, and I or Umberstock uh, Bidwell, I think. I. I can't remember what his last name is, to be honest with you now. Uh, but anyway... If, if you just... Uh, if, I'll tell you what, you go... What you want to do is you want to go to the Facebook channel of Columbus Retro League and find out uh, exactly what his name is. <laughs> I, I think it was big well though, uh, and you can check out the information there. Right now we're kind of on an off season. Um, it's election year, and his proper job is in the election. So, uh, yeah, I didn't expect too much to happen this year, and. Uh, it was something where I was going to try and help out, but uh, he never contacted me about it. I kind of forgot about it. I've been kind of working on my YouTube channel. Well, not so much my YouTube channel, but my Twitch channel. And this will be the first thing that's going to be exclusive. Uh, well, not even, not even exclusive. It, it's kind of made for YouTube, but, you know, I can get people from Twitch involved in this, too. But yeah, right now it's July 4th, so uh, if you're getting to it shortly after this, I'll probably still be working on the series. I've got a be practicing the Zelda 2 speedrun pretty much daily, though. Okay. So this was a mistake I made last time. Um, Oh, that counts as his hitbox? I wouldn't even move if I knew that. Alright. It's 
high intensive poison herb at him first. Okay, that's five damage. So super serial here. <laughs> Not even really. Okay. This time he wasn't a jerk, and I can actually see what I'm doing. If I could get a little bit of knockback on him. Come on. Seriously? <sighs> Alright. Back to where I last saved. Well, that's a crappy way to end it. Um, okay, so... 
what we're gonna do next time. Like, I kinda don't even wanna end it now. I may decide to just take a quick break and come back to this or something. Um, when I come back. Get where I was getting all those plating scrolls, but we're gonna go back to that dungeon. I wanna go back to get some plating scrolls, and then we'll go probably go one back one time back to either set up Pete's dead or then or Eagle's fortress. I forget where I was getting those scrolls. It was in one of those, and then we'll go back to the catfish probably one more time. On top of that, in case I need more weapons and armor. But I'm going to leave this right here. And I'm going to send people over to Games Den Quick for right now. It's kind of cool. Like, <laughs> uh, people are seeing, like, Games Den Quick. And they're, they're seeing these other guys when they come to my channel. It's, it's unfortunate that it's... Uh, a lot of them don't follow me, but it is kind of cool seeing that they'll go over to like Games Done Quick and then they'll subscribe, or they'll I'll be hosting someone like Game J06, and all of a sudden a couple people will follow. So uh, that's cool. Uh, if you don't want to follow me, that's fine. But it is really cool that some people like to check out these you guys. So. Um, yeah, my microphone should not be on a delay anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and send people right over. And it's because of the headset. The headset's kind of new for me. Post games done quick. One word.